Sure. Uh, making the distinction between life in the universe, which I think is inevitable, and intelligent life in the universe, uh, which is, I question or challenge at least, the probability of given uh, our planet uh, being in the right location, the star being in the right type of star, in the right location, et cetera. Uh, what, what are the odds that you would, and given the time it took, four and a half, four and a half billion, four point six billion years, for us to get to the point where we can ask the question, is there intelligent life in the universe? What do you think those odds are? The universe is huge in time and in space and in contents. So the good thing about the universe is extraordinarily rare phenomena happen every day, someplace in the universe. And so however rare we might calculate it would be up here for life as we know it, you multiply up the numbers, the stars in the galaxies, galaxies in the universe, these are staggeringly huge numbers, 10 to the 21 stars, a thousand times bigger than the number of grains of sand on an average beach. Itself, a hundred times bigger than the number of words ever spoken or uttered by all humans who have ever lived. These are staggeringly large, stupendously large numbers, to use Richard's word, that give us the confidence that even if intelligent life is only short-lived, grows up and then it becomes so smart it can kill itself, that there's bound to be one out there that we're hitting it right at the right time that they are happy to have a conversation with us if we're smart enough to have a conversation with them.